Good afternoon, this is Jim Lakey with news announcements for St. John in Maxville, Kansas on Cable Channel 3 and on sandylandcenter.org, our uh, website. Um, today is Friday the 23rd of September. It's 71 at noon time and sunny and we're going to have a sunny day today and tomorrow. 81 the high today and for Saturday 87 the high. Then the only different day is Sunday, it's partly cloudy, and 85. And then Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, all sunny, 82 Monday, 86 on Tuesday, and 84 on Wednesday. <coughs> then we have uh, birthdays and anniversaries. Uh, today, happy birthday to Harold Crocker, and uh, on uh, Saturday, Happy birthday, I mean, happy anniversary to Sam and Sharon Crispin. And then on uh, Sunday, happy birthday to Mary Green, Kayla Estes, and Ginger Freach. We hope that you all uh, enjoy your birthdays. And uh, on uh, Sunday, uh, we've had a good many things that we've needed to record. And so I believe that Sunday at 1, and I'm not sure of the order of things, but we'll have the special meeting of the City Council that happened on uh, Monday. And then we'll have the program uh, that was there, uh, the public hearing or something about the, the water uh, situation. And then after that, there was a short meeting of the City Council, and the City Council uh, approved applying for a loan of uh, $3.1 million uh, to be able to think about the water project. And they haven't decided exactly what the water project is, but they're applying for the loan ahead of time. And the money that gets spent on putting us into compliance uh, with, the, with the water regulations, uh, the state will uh, forgive 30% of that off the loan as well as uh, taking the amount out of the loan to pay for it. Uh, so that was the upshot of all those uh, three meetings. And uh, of course part of the things that everybody has to remember is that it's, it's not really up to us uh, to pick out what we'd like to do. Uh, we have to pick out something to be in compliance with the water regulations and we have to choose from among the options that the, uh, the state or the federal government will allow us to use. So sometimes you might wonder why we don't do something more simple, and that's because they won't let us do that. Uh, so uh, that's something not to uh, be angry at the city about. Talk to your uh, senator and your representative or your president about some of these things. So anyway, as we continue... Uh, with the news, <coughs> Saturday, October 8th, the Wichita Model A Club will be visiting us, and, uh, and right now they're scheduled for 35 Model A's, and they'll come in around 10 o'clock Saturday morning, and they're going to park around the square uh, with their Model A's, and so I think it would be fun if anybody hasn't seen Model A's in a while, they could come down and look at them, and uh, perhaps talk to the owner. Uh, they're also, though, uh, going to visit things in the square themselves. The Hall Museum will be open too, as well as the Science Museum. And the St. John Science Museum is the one who's sponsoring the trip, and also uh, they're uh, cooking lunch uh, for them, and I believe the lunch is going to be in the county annex. Is that what they did? Uh, someplace like that. So they'll have a lunch for the uh, uh, for the Model A people uh, here in town. And so it'll be a good thing to uh, check out, and I think it's great that the Science Museum is sponsoring that and bringing people into town, uh, which is good to have them come into town, but it's also an interesting thing to have the people who come into town to see the Model A's as well. Uh, let's see. The The Stafford County Health Department has notified us that they have flu shots for $20, <clears throat> and most insurances cover those, uh, so bring your Medicare or insurance card. 
and you can call 3504 uh, to make an appointment to make sure someone will be there to give you the shot. <clears throat> and then a lot of the Recreation Commission's uh, trips have been canceled due to the bus not working right. And so if the bus is working right, I believe they still are hoping they can have their casino trip on September 28th. That would be next week. <clears throat> and the bus leaves at 8 and comes back at 4. And uh, they are at the casino until 2.30. But you could also shop at the uh, Dodge Mall. Uh, and you need to register at 6549. And then we only have uh, one menu, and that's from the VIP Center uh, in uh, Maxville. And uh, they're always great about giving us their menu, and they always have interesting things to eat. Uh, today they're having beef tips on noodles, which sounds like fun. Tomorrow, roast turkey with gravy and mashed potatoes. And then on Friday, taco salad. Uh, and that's all the news and announcements I have for you today. The word of the day is this. Now that I've gotten it all together, I've forgotten where I put it. This is Jim Lakey, hoping you don't have that problem and you have a great weekend.